let you call him a hero, but he's someone we all can root for. Hi, I'm Kelly Nash, and this is the remarkable story of new Clemson receiver Daniel Rodriguez, who actually hasn't played a game in six years. His return to the field started a few years ago during a conversation in Afghanistan. That's where he and his best friend, PFC Kevin Thompson, were deployed as members of the United States Army. We were just sitting out there after a firefight, you know, your adrenaline's coming down, and it's just like one of those things, just like, this is it, man. Like, I'm 20, 20, 21 years old. I'm not doing this for the rest of my life, you know? And Thompson was just like, you know, well, you know, I'm not gonna stay in either. He's like, I'm gonna go out and do what I want to do beforehand. And I was like, you know what? I should never. I should just follow my heart and try to play sports, you know, collegially. I had been getting in really good shape, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna walk on. I'm gonna use my GI Bill and try to walk on and play college football. And he's like, do it, man. I was like, no, nah, I really am. He's like, well, don't, you know, don't sit here and blow smoke at me, you know. Do it. And I was like, I promise you, I'll do it. And uh, so I promised him, we promised each other that we were going to follow our dreams, and mine was to play college football when I got out, and uh, he died a week later. I woke up at like 5 a.m. and just went down and used the computer, and like 30 minutes into using the computer, it's like incoming, like, pow, rocket hits, pow, another rocket. And then the next thing I know is just muzzle flash all in the mouth. Like I'm just looking up and there's just muzzle flash and I'm like dodging, like just running back and forth. And since we're at the bottom, like, you know, it just looked like popcorn, like just pop, pop, popping everywhere. I was getting hit in the leg with rocks from the bullets. You know, as soon as I get to the top of my fighting position, I just get on the machine gun and Thompson's coming out. We could like, we made eye contact, just like, he was like, holy crap, you know, this is real. We're getting hit pretty hard. And he came out around me and he's like pointed at RPG rock where some Taliban guys are coming down. I just remember like looking at him, pointing, and then boom, just his knees buckle. I could see his weapon drop, and he's done. I mean, he got hit. He was dead before he hit the ground. He kind of he fell right, right by my feet. So I just unloaded. I just started spraying at all those guys. And then once I ran out of ammo, like I ran in. I was like, hey, you know, Thompson's hit. I'm like trying to drag his body in. If I couldn't, I was just getting hit with RPGs. I got trapped on my legs, trying to pull his body in. Um, and I got hit again in the neck. And finally, I couldn't even move him. You know, he just couldn't do anything about it. And he couldn't do nothing for him. He was already dead. So it was at that point, it was just survival. It was kill or be killed. So I had to just keep going and keep fighting. Anything that had a bullet shot out of it, I shot it. Everything. Claymores were trying to set off. I couldn't get over the fact that they killed my best friend. I didn't give a crap at that point. I didn't care. I didn't care what happened to me. I didn't care. I was gonna go out there and fight. And, you know, I just, it wasn't my day. It wasn't my day to go. It hits you. It hits me, you know, just kind of like, my, my friends are underneath my feet, you know? You're walking on top of heroes, you know? Everybody wants to call me a hero or, you know, the guy that, we're not here, I'm not a hero. You know, the guys that died are heroes. You know, I just, I was just doing my job. And when I get to Arlington, it's just like, that's where heroes are resting at. And it, and it sucks that some of them are my friends. This is why I do what I do. This is why my mentality is the way it is, because it's like, if I fall short of things I set out to do, it's Taliban wins. So everything I do is for these boys. I don't ever take my bracelet off. It's got all their names on it in the day, the day they were killed. I'm always going to have them with me. So I think that first game, if I get that opportunity to run down that hill at Clemson, man, they're going to be taped up on my wrist. So I'm going to have them out there with me and share it with them. Rodriguez has a purple heart, a bronze star for Valor, and now a home in the Tigers locker room. Regardless of school loyalty, this is the type of man who represents the ideals of this conference and this nation. Because with honor, he lives his life with the realized dream of a promise fulfilled.